lick for David Reagan. This. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Fellow is also into the wall in that. Wow, terrible. Oh boy, Stanley Steamer. Whoa, there's oh, and no. around she goes oh, go. into oh, Kenson. Oh gosh. Up in the air and into the wall. Hard. Man, Kenson. Man, I thought he was gonna catch the catch fence back there. The way I it landed not, was I am not believing that. Uh, he's fine, boy. He got the window net down right away out of frustration. I think somebody makes contact with. Oh, the McDowell oh, got McDowell. her in the left rear. Yep. Yep. And that oh turned. no, he hit. She hit him in the right front. And when, oh, when and that Dono happened, it just got air underneath the car. Is anybody left in this race? There's McDowell into the 43 of Eric Almarola. Look at that. And up goes Kenseth. It's like a feather. There was no oh, way. Oh, oh he's hurt. Push up right and over. Right over. Right 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 Terry Lavani. Boyer's in it. Bobby Lavani's in it. Strimmy's in it. Jeff Gordon down to the ground. Nothing else coming from behind you. And Kurt Talk Busch through. went over and over. Boyer McMurray. Right here, the 51 car. Owen oh, Stenhouse squeezes to the Boy. outside. And that's and, Yaley and, and that's Chuck Yaley down there. Look at that 78 car upside down and then lands on top of Ryan Newman's 39 car. But Darrell, it definitely looked like Stenthouse thought that Yaley had made just enough move to the inside that it was going to open up a big enough hole for him to get that 17 car. Remember, through. remember what we said in the opening? When you make a move, finish it. And that's kind of where I saw that 36. He started to make a move, but then he hesitated. Stenhouse didn't, and we get this big mess. You're with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Whoa, what a view. Looking back, Danica's car, the 10 back there, almost went over. Look oh. out, Mike, Mike, Wallace. Spin, Mike yeah. Wallace, and he's uh -oh. up and over. Wallace gets back on all fours. The 38 of Leffler is also involved. The race is going to end under caution. A lot of people with run. You can see Mike Wallace having a big run here, getting a push from Elliott Sadler. That's where it's all going to start as he tried to make a move. Boy, and then he gets there. The caution does not come out right away here. It goes just a little bit longer before it does come out. Trevor Bain. And on board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, difference and similarity between today's cars and tomorrow's car. Was, it, it, was there something you could watch wow. while he today? Oh, there's contact behind him between Carl Edwards and, and Carl Edwards got up into Keslowski. Keslowski. And boy, it just flipped Dale over. You gotta wonder why Carl Edwards would make a move like that on the straightaway. Kind of made a, an abrupt move up to the outside lane there. I don't know if he thought he was clear. Yeah, sometimes you're moving over just to get against that car. Yeah, I think he just, his intentions were just to get over there, but he could see that outside line moving a little bit just to slow them down. And I don't know if Brad came down just a little, nothing that Brad was doing wrong, but it only takes just a split second of both of these drivers moving in the same direction, and that creates the contact. Let's just go on board and just listen. That corner, spin behind it, damn it. Perfect. Yeah, Carl may have actually been trying to get in the outside yeah, lane there. It looked like he thought he, he might have a hole. And was trying to get in that hole before it closed up, but he misjudged the front of his car. Here it is in real time. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think it's just a product of this restrictor plate racing. The cars are all bunched up. And just misjudging by a few inches can create a situation just like this. About six or eight times pretty hard. What about Brandon Brown? He slides through there. Looks like he's going to be credited with a fourth place finish. I think he might have got in the back of William Byron, and that's what got in the back of the four of Christopher Bell and turned him sideways. Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24, gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 55. 
and now it's just a long bit of run. Yeah, watch the car stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles, and it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour, I'm just guessing, to a complete stop. It just pushes the three up into the air enough that it rolls over the top of a car. And then that momentum just continues to move him into the catch fence. Take another look at this real time. Another hood flap flies off. Oh! Over the road comes the 18. The 42 collects the 17 as well. The 62 upside down. Brendan gone upside down as he went back in front of the pack. We're wrecked here, guys. And the big one happens right at the front of the field. So Kurt pushing Kyle. And just hooked him. In. Look at Brendan gone. Just flip right over. It's like the nose of that Chevrolet just can't quite push them straight. It just yeah. can't do it. Oh, this shot right here. Coming right at you. Look at this 62. It looks like a toy car. It well, doesn't look yeah. real. 3,400 pounds. Remember that. These things are almost two tons. How close were you? Oh, here we go. Oh, upside, side, upside. down. Upside. Well, AJ, that was a humdinger. Yes, it was, and that's uh, there he is upside down, and I hope, hope he's all right. I see him moving around in there. And here is the initial contact. You see Chase's car yawed out just a tiny bit in the corner. And they got him loose. That's, that, that's the one. He was going to save it until that last little bump. This is amazing footage, folks. Incredible camera work. And just remember, there's a driver in every one of those cars. Well, that's a long, slow roll for Almendinger. And as a driver, I, I've been upside down at Daytona one time and slid on my roof just like that. With sparks flying, and I was just hoping at the last second it was going to roll back over so I could get out. AJ's didn't do that. He was stuck upside down. Nine has turned over Brad Keselowski, and we have a caution. My goodness. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Keselowski. It really did. And, and I'm, I'm I'm so wondering and hoping that when they put the spoiler back on these cars, they'll quit turning over like this. Guys, you saw it right there. Those white gloves, they made a turn to the right. Brad Keselowski has climbed out of his Penske Dodge. The roof flaps deployed, but it did not sit that car back down. I'm like you, Daryl. I'm going to be so glad to see that rear spoiler back on these cars. I think that's a, it's got to be something to that. 